I think one of the key things that people miss around volatility is timelines. So can't tell you how many people will be like, oh yeah, I, you know, I bought more X, fill in the blank. I don't care whether it's a stock, Bitcoin, piece of real estate. Was it the first thing you bought? Was it the only thing you bought? Again, it's the, the you know, cocktail party story we talk about where you're only telling me about your winners. The other thing is understanding how timelines impact uh, outcomes in the sense that at least historically, you could have held emerging market bonds or small cap stocks or junk bonds and actually done better than the S&P 500 in, in a lot of cases and a lot of time frames. But you had a ton of volatility and you may have needed some of that money along the way. And so again, what was some theoretical return that you could have experienced practically was never going to happen for you because you're not a white, your life isn't a white paper. <laughs> Your life has unexpected twists and turns just like the market does. Is your timeline of your life set up to exactly mirror whatever you're investing in? And the odds are no, it's not. And so what kind of precautions, steps, safety measures are you putting into place in terms of diversification to help you, at least with some part of your money, be able to take that full journey, get that full return result that you want because you didn't have to artificially get out of the position.